Open this door right now, Charles! I want it! Oh, wait, he's dead. Oh. Well. Gonna pull out my trusty hammer to break the door down, but since he's dead, and I've got his card, I guess I'll just enter. <laughs> okay. Hey, people, the interweb. I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to 7 Days of Skeptic. Been, what, four days since I've done this? Okay, that's loud. Book! I have a walkthrough, by the way, right next to me. That way, if I get lost, I can just look at it instead of trying to question where I am. I don't want this game to take forever to play through, so... Yeah! Codebook is important. Hey, Angela! There you go. Is this what we need? Yes, that's the captain's code book. Find the communication authorization code and read it off. Here we are. 11772. Thank you. This is First Officer Angela Garrett of the EFS Mephistopheles. Attention all ships in Im the immediate vicinity. We are in urgent need of assistance. Over. Officer Garrett. This is Captain James Linderman of the EFS Charisma. What is the nature of your emergency? Over. Engines dead by unknown means. Captain Barry Chahal has been murdered. All crew members currently suspects. Over. Acknowledge. We are five days travel from your current position. In your meantime, you don't. Over you. There. Soon we'll be picked up and this will all be behind us. Five days? We have to sit and wait for rescue for another five days? When there could be a psychotic killer on board? Previously, Doctor, we were going to sit and wait for rescue indefinitely with a psychotic killer on board. We should be grateful that events have improved, however marginally. John? Commander! What? I just saw the captain. You found his body? No, I saw him alive. Really? We're going down this path again? What? I, I just saw... I saw a dead person. He's alive, I swear. I'm telling you, I saw... Adam, are you absolutely sure you saw what you say you saw? I mean, is there absolutely no other explanation for what it was? I don't... I don't know. Probably... Counselor, perhaps you should escort the lieutenant back to his quarters. But I saw... Lieutenant, there's no logical explanation for your claim. You're obviously just tired or overstressed. Let's go, Adam. What was that all about, Adam? The captain is alive, John. Damn it, Adam. Barry is dead. I'm the one who found his body. Barry Charles is dead, yes. Great. Q John Defoe. Ship has a new captain, John. Adam! <laughs> Wake up just in time before your heart stops and kills you as well. Is anything like that? It, it, even it. I'm betting it. I, I don't know. With games like this, I feel like even in a dream, killing somebody would kill them IRL. <sighs> Where's Serena go to? I don't know. She's not come back to the quarters since yesterday. Oh, God. This is going to turn out badly, isn't it? We have to remain optimistic. It's all very well just saying that. Uh, sorry I'm late. Doctor, nice of you to join us. Uh, yes. What were we talking about? Serena is missing. I was out on EVA checking on the radar masts. I heard some odd noises over the comms, like sound, like sounds of a struggle. When I got back in, she was gone. Oh, uh, really? Is anyone else seeing a sort of pattern emerging here? I beg your pardon? Well, far be it from me to raise claims, but you were the one who found Barry's body. And now you have first-hand experience of Serena's encounter, too. Does anyone else think that this is a bit coincidental? 
Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't do shit. Everyone's looking at me. Why? Why? I didn't do nothing. I was outside. How could I kill a go girl who's inside when I'm outside? I am going to twist my arms trying to tell you about the owl. <laughs> Forget it. I mean, it. I, I was totally out of line. I'll uh, get back to sick bay now. Your rambling is making me hungry. Can I just go get some food? Just have to hope we can all hold on for five more days. Still seems mighty suspicious to me. Adam, please don't. I suggest we begin searching for Serena. There is still a chance that she is perfectly all right. That's true. That is very true. But that chance is like a point zero 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 ten thousand zeros later. One percent. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I said that wrong. Point zero 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 ten thousand. Serena! Hi! Alright, just so you guys know, the walkthrough I'm using is one on Fully Ramblomatic, the place you can get this game. And they do a very good job of avoiding the story itself. They just tell you the answers to the puzzles, which avoid all story pretty much. If I, it does have any story, I have not found it yet. It's where I went when I had to look up a little bit of information for five days. Like, to what to do specific puzzles. So, yeah, I have it right here, but I have no story re revealing. So, every story aspect is still going to be completely blind. That's the only reason why I personally am okay using it. Man, I'm so hungry! I've been eating for two days. I just don't want this playthrough to last for decades. Just because I can't figure out what the frick to do. It's like, wait, Serena? Oh, I guess she's okay. Let's go eat something. I'll order a standard lunch. What the hell? There's blood all over this tray. I do not accept this! I will bring me tools against the thing until it gives me real food! Oh. Oh, there's something lodged. <laughs> I knew to use the wrenches, so I just started joke. That's how you know I'm not... I can't figure out the story just by looking at this particular walkthrough. I didn't know why he was using the wrenches on it, so I just randomly started going out all out with my hammer. It's actually the same hammer that I used to build the desk that all the, my stuff sits on. So... <laughs> eh. I've already gone psycho, so might as well leave my hair like that. <sighs> I think there's something lodged up here. I'll try to pry it. Uh, prize? I'll try to prize it out. This is my Grand Prix. <laughs> what? It's a human hand. Ah, freshly served, I think. Serena? Oh! Is he still in sick bay? I'd assume so. Hey, doctor! I think I think you need to see something. Please don't throw up. I know I know you're sensitive to blood, but please don't throw up. I don't know. Maybe I can pry into this thing. It's like cabinets. Open! No? Okay, fine. Hey, William. I need your opinion on something. Anything. 
Ow, that actually hurts my eyes for some reason. Oh, good God. W where did you find it? Would you believe me if I said it was lodged in the vending machine? What I don't get is why there wasn't a trail of blood leading up to it. This, this ship has self-cleaning walls. They don't clean off every trace of dirt. If you used ultraviolet light, you'd be able to see traces of human bodily fluids. Hold on a sec. This might help with your investigation. An ultraviolet light emitter? I really appreciate this, Doctor. You'd better leave the hand with me. There are some tests I should run on it. Sure. Wait, but I've touched the entire thing. He's just going to suspect it's me with that. That's not fair. If he still suspects me, then... That's not fair! Whoa, hang on a second. I, I knew he was going to give me the emitter, but I didn't know he was going to take the hand. It's going to put fingerprints all over it. Not fair. Give me the hand back. Good. Okay, fine. That's my office, not the freaking food place thing. Wow. Residence. That's the fattest looking emitter I've never seen. Okay. Uh, bro, use the UV. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, wait, was he pointing towards this? Maybe. Whoa. Wild guess, it leads up to this, which means... I should probably fix my hair before I jump scare and it all falls out. Or I freak out, I guess. Hello? Let's see. Communal. And vent. UV ray. Well, hey, uh, okay, I mean, I know I joked about looking, but what the heck? What? Dr. Somerset? Oh, of course you caught me finding the body. Shoot. Inside, please, Doctor. Do you really think so? Surely you must agree, as an intelligent man, that the evidence seems to point to you. Yeah, but some evidence seems to point away from me. That doesn't mean anything. I appreciate the link is flimsy. This is more of a precaution until the proper investigators arrive. 
Well, frickin' screw you, too. We're at this point of the game now, huh? I don't need to. Can I take the towel rack, maybe? No, of course I can. Hey. Commander? Yes, Doctor? This is a blatant abuse of power. I question your use of language, Doctor. You can't imprison people without cause. What are you talking about? You are the prime suspect in the killings. Admittedly, not on much evidence. Unless you have damning evidence, which you don't. Um, you can't just do this. Well, actually, you can, but it'd end up being pointless. I'm relieving you of your duty as a counselor. I don't know how this would work in real life. I don't think it would work in real life. I'm aware of the code, Doctor. However, Code 980 gives me the power to hold suspicious individuals for up to seven days in the event of serious crime on board. And Code 1701 does not apply when the counselor himself or herself is under investigation. Gosh, dang it! <laughs> I didn't kill anyone. Whether or not you did is currently immature. How does that make sense? Or did I ring that? Re, re, ah, oh, Jesus. Probably read that wrong. I was outside when Serena disappeared. And you can explain all of that to the investigators. Rest assured, Doctor, if you truly are innocent, the evidence will acquit you. In today's foolproof modern era, a wrongful arrest is... Okay, something. How much longer till the investigators get here? Are they here yet? <laughs> the ATA is around noon on Sunday. You have three more days to practice your explanations. Right. Are they here yet? It's just, I'm turning into a chip. Are we there yet? Are they here yet? Are they here yet? It's just like poking at the person. Are they here yet? Are they here yet? Are they here yet? Are they here yet? <laughs> Angela, while I'm here, the real killer is still loose. Oh yes, I forgot you were doing some little investigations of your own. Who do you have pinned down for the real killer? Um... Not the captain. I can't... I have to say something logical or she's not going to believe it. I have to say something that she would legitimately believe. And it doesn't even have Serena on here. Then again, she just saw Serena's torso, so, I mean... I think there's someone else. It'll either be William or someone else on board. Let's start with that one. I think there's someone else on board. Now, I'm not using the walkthrough for this part. How could another person have possibly gotten aboard? The internal scanners would have spotted them. What if they weren't a physical being? Doctor, I have no idea what you think you're talking about. Even if non-physical beings existed, they cannot murder corporeal entities. Oh, God, I picked the right one. Counselor, please, even if I... Uh-oh. Angela! Okay. Okay, let's try again. Ah! Ah! Actually, I am tense, and I'm going to leave this video here. <laughs> I honestly have no idea how long I was doing this. Yeah, I'm going to end the video on a game over. I'll, um, I'll play up to that point, just save before I tell her that. I did not expect that to happen. Plus, I'm a little bit curious on what else she would say, so I'll, 
I'll play up to that point, and then I'll save, and I'll start there next time. However, in the meantime, as I said, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you got any suggestions for any other horror games for me, just let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any of the other footage I've done in the past, present, future, uh, click the box in the bottom right hand corner over there. Oh, it's already there. Okay. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!